Good evening, everybody. It's Flynn here. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Just getting up, getting started, ready to head on to my delivery. It's in uh, Frederick, Maryland. I think I've been saying Fredericksburg or Fredericksville or it's Frederick, Maryland. It's uh, just over 300 miles away. Shouldn't be too bad of a run. I think I'm going to be running through the rain, but eh, it's just rain. I'll have to be a little cautious because I'll be going across the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and I'm pretty light. So if you're not familiar with trucking, you actually want a heavier trailer. You want a heavier vehicle all around when you're in any, any kind of inclement weather. It actually reduces your chances of sliding. And a tip for anybody getting ready to take the uh, CDL practice test or the CDL permit test, uh, there's kind of a question in there. It's kind of a trick question. It's uh, which, uh, how does the truck brake better? I don't know the exact wording, but essentially the question is, do, does the truck brake better fully loaded or empty? And for some reason, you know, you think that may be empty because you're lighter and it would brake better, but the brakes are actually designed to stop an 80,000 pound vehicle and they're actually more efficient with the heavier vehicle. So it's actually not what you're going to think. It's the heavier fully loaded the truck will break better just just a tip if you're getting ready to take the uh uh the cdl permit test uh one other cdl permit test i'll just go over real quick is just know your numbers you know tread depth if there's a number when you read through the manual write that down memorize that number because odds are anything deal to deal with numbers is going to be on that test all right well it should be a pretty like i said pretty easy night so when i get I don't know. I'll just, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I don't really have anything to say. I'm just waking up. Brain's still working on getting moving. All right. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Just got done topping off the, uh, uh, the tractor and the reefer and this truck stop, this TA truck stop in, uh, Wheeling, West Virginia the top of this little hill here. I was gonna do it in Ohio. It was five cents cheaper at the Loves that I was parked at for my 10 hour break. But when I got up and got around to the pumps, they were like three deep. I'd have been 45 minutes an hour. So five cents a gallon, 100 and some gallons. I, I cost myself $5, but I saved myself 45 minutes. So that's kind of how I look at it. I mean, if I did that every single week, two or three times a week, then yeah, that money would add up. But to just do it once or twice, just out of convenience, not that big of a deal, at least not in my opinion. Um, it's not quite Saturday, it's pretty close. OH. So I made it in here to this final delivery, no problem. Uh, it rained pretty good all the way here, but there was really no issue. The biggest issue is the place I'm delivering, uh, I think to cut down costs, to keep the cost you know, lower on their end so that it's lower on the customer's end, they don't have any lights on outside. So you're backing into these dock doors kind of at, at night, at night in the dark, it's, it's pretty dark, which normally is, you know, I mean, it's a little tricky normally, but when it's pouring down rain and you've got rain and stuff all over your windows and mirrors, it makes it a little trickier. Um, I got in here fine. They uh, they were actually a little more efficient than uh, the one in Ohio. The, the guy came right out, took my uh, paper, actually stopped. I, I didn't know what he was doing at first. He started coming like straight towards my truck, like flashing his lights and stuff as I was driving over to the dock door. So I stopped and he was like, he needed the paperwork. He told me what the lumper fee was and what door to hit. And so I went around, I opened the doors up, I backed into that door and I don't know, hour, hour and a half later, you know, he came out, I already had the check ready, he took the check, gave me my paperwork, uh, took down some information, said you're good to go. A lot more efficient than the other one, so now I've got everything situated, I'm ready to jump in the driver's seat. Uh, I'm about 30 miles from a truck stop, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drive over there, take a 10 hour break and see what they do with me next. Uh, hopefully working my way towards the house, looking at taking a 34 hour break, uh, get some stuff taken care of. All right, talk to you guys in a bit. All right guys, well, 
and everything went smooth with that delivery. I'm over here at the truck stop now. I got dispatched on my next load. It's kind of eh. I mean, I went ahead and accepted it because it's just more money in my pocket this week. Uh, it picks up tomorrow anywhere between 6 at night and midnight and then delivers in uh, just kind of southwest of Indianapolis at 9 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And then from there, it's short enough, I'll just deadhead home to Dayton for the 34-hour break. Now, what I would have preferred is something that actually, you know, I was able to deliver that picked up, you know, later on today or tonight that I delivered either Sunday or Monday. And that way I was ready to go from the house you know, Tuesday or Wednesday morning. This way I'm not gonna be ready to go till Thursday morning. And the way our weeks work here is it goes from Tuesday to Tuesday. So I'm basically gonna be down two days starting the week. Now, I have to kind of look at this run that I'm on as actually part of next week's pay. If I look at it that way, then I should be fine. Cause it's, you know, when you lease a truck, it's a game of averages. Now my other option, I had enough fuel, 400 miles from the house would have cost me basically $80 in fuel to just deadhead to the house. Now I don't like for me to do that, but since I'm a lease operator, I can just be like, nah, dude, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and head on to the house and take my 34. I, since it's only a 34 hour break, I'm not gonna do it. I'd rather make the money to go to the house. Now, I'll be taking a full week off around Thanksgiving. Now, if I ran into a situation like that, I would probably just be ready for that full week off and I wouldn't wanna spend an extra couple days and I would eat the cost to just go ahead and deadhead home. Usually if they get me within 200 miles, I'll deadhead home. Now I'm not saying you should do that. I'm saying that's what I do. Keep in mind, anything I talk about in these vlogs are what I do. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm not really giving, um, I'm not giving advice or tips. And I mean, sometimes it's a tip and not that, you know, I think I do stuff wrong. I just sometimes do stuff that I maybe wouldn't encourage somebody just starting in the industry to do. I just, I kind of know how my money works. I know how the routing here at Prime works and I just kind of do my thing. And it's not necessarily the best fit for, you know, somebody coming into this. So today I'm just gonna veg out and watch, you know, watch movies and eat junk food. I don't have to be, you know, I didn't have to wake up tomorrow until, you know, I don't know, two in the afternoon if I don't want to. It's gonna be just a nice, relaxing, chill day for Flynn today. All right, you guys take care, I'm out.